Hello Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back to my readings. This will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, this is a general reading. So we're going to take a look at your energy and see where the cards lead us. Um, Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius? Turn lemons into lessons. Okay. We also have Unleash Your Inner Wild Child. Get up and dance. Yeah, so what's going on with you, Aquarius? I'm feeling like you may be going through some challenges and you're trying to turn those challenges into something more positive. We have connect with Gaia. Connect with God. Find your spiritual side. We also have tears of joy and sadness. So what is going on with Aquarius? Let's see. You know what? I'm going to take this one. <clears throat> what does Aquarius need to know? Give us Aquarius' energy. discovering okay so yeah you may be going through some kind of discovering of something and uh, you may be going through lessons right now you may be learning from those lessons that you're going through um i feel like perfection okay yeah I, I feel like there's things in your life that you feel just could be better you know Let's see what the tarot has to say Give us some cards for Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Give us, give us some cards for Aquarius. Give us some message, Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know right now? The lovers. Okay, so you may be, you may have went through something, and it's, you know, opening up new lessons in love. Queen of Cups. <laughs> the Ace of Wands. You may have new love coming in right now, Aquarius. You may not even see them coming. The Page of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, someone wants to communicate with you. Someone wants to tell you what's on their minds. We have the seven of pentacles and we have the nine of pentacles the two of cups definitely love coming in this may be with the queen of cups this may be with a Pisces Scorpio or Cancer the five of cups King of Swords. And the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely moving into something that's greater than what you had before. You have the Knight of Wands on the bottom. So some fire, some passion. Something's driving you, um, Aquarius. And I feel like it may be driving you sort of wild, driving you crazy, you know. Um, this that may be this new love that's coming through or if this is love I feel like if this is someone already in your life I feel like this is someone who you're like taking it to the next level with but they're definitely driving you crazy you have this new passion new fire new exhilarance about yourself you know with the the lovers and the queen of cups aquarius if this is new love coming in i feel like it's very passionate 
very loving, very caring, very nurturing. This person is supporting you. Look how she's dipping her toes in the water. She's dipping in her toes into the water of emotions. So she's like overwhelmed with emotion. This could be male or female. But I feel like whoever this is coming in, they're like dipping their waters into feeling this emotion. Feeling this new feeling. And it's it's a new feeling because we have the Ace of Wands here and the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like this is new fire coming in. This is new creation. Something that's coming in that's bringing you more passion, more ambition, more drive. Um, this could also be very fiery, very sexual, you know, with the Wands. The Wands are very passionate, a fire. This is sexual energy. This, this person may, you know, send you communication to maybe invite you over. This is definitely someone who wants to get to know you better. And I feel like they want to get to really know you better. You know what I'm saying? Um... With the, the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like this person is working on this situation. They're like putting in the extra effort. And I feel like maybe you're, maybe you've told them no a few times. Maybe you said, no, I'm not ready for this. No, you know, I'm, now's not the right time. You know, I just don't have time right now. I feel like maybe you've been telling this person no and this person I feel like they're they're still trying they're still trying it's like a challenge that they want to overcome with this nine of Pentacles energy I feel like <clears throat> this person who's who's working on you who's trying to gain your trust trying to gain your acceptance I feel like they're they're like putting in the extra effort. They're definitely putting this extra time, extra energy to get you to say yes. You know? And I feel like you, you're almost at this point where... Um, You're not sure if you're ready to take this plunge. You're like feeling at a loss that this person really has the right intentions with this Five of Cups and King of Swords. You're like, nah, I'm not sure if I want to jump into this. I'm not sure about this person I'm not sure if they're being honest I feel like you're you have a lot of doubts about this person you have a lot of there may be things about this person that you just are kind of giving you red flags you know but <clears throat> Aquarius whether you know it or not, I feel like you're moving closer to this person than you're expecting. I feel like this person is kind of breaking down your defenses. And you're moving closer to saying yes to this person. You're moving closer to a more calmness. Like you're, you're ready to discover what's next. You know? And I feel like this person who's coming into your life, this person is like breaking down your offenses and letting you know that, you know, try me. Just try me. Just give me a try. You know, I'll show you. They're ready to, they're ready to put in the work. They're ready to see where this goes. Because I feel like, Aquarius, you may have been single for a while. 
Um, that's why I feel like you have so many reservations. But I feel like this person that's coming in, they have patience. And they're ready to start this. This passionate new beginning, you know. They're ready to start this whatever this is. <clears throat> Let's clarify the situation. Spirit. Let's see, we have a lot of cards to jump out. Yeah, we have the world, the sun, the knight of wands, and the three of swords. Okay, Aquarius, you may have went through a really tough heartbreak. And it was really hard for you to get past that ending, you know. And you're trying so hard to find happiness with yourself right now. But now, here comes this knight of wands situation and you're really unsure. You're really unsure if it's going to, you know, take you back to that heartbreak situation. But Aquarius, I feel like you should, you, you can't find love without being open to love, you know? So you can't let one heartbreak or multiple heartbreaks. You can't, you know, life is full of beginnings and endings. That's just all about life, but you have to get back on the horse. You have to take that next ride. You know what I mean? Um, you won't find that Prince Charming, that everlasting love without taking a chance. Tell me about this lover's card. What is this lover's? The Eight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person really wants to communicate everything that they're feeling. They want to really bring everything out in the open. Um, this person may have been holding back so many emotions with this Queen of Cups here. They've been holding back so many emotions and now they want to send you a message to let you know how they really feel. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. The Six of Cups. This may be someone who broke your heart in the past. And they want, they've been thinking about you. They want, they want you to reconsider and take them back. That's the reason why I feel like you're hesitant. For some of you, this isn't new love. This is an old love coming back. That's the reason why you're hesitant. That's the reason why you have so many reservations. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. The King of Pentacles. So, <clears throat> now for the rest of you, I feel like if this is a new beginning, this is someone who's very practical, very down to earth. This could also be an earth sign. Um, this could also be... Um, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But they're very practical. They're very down to earth. They're very, hmm. They could also have a good job. Stable finances, you know. But I feel like this new beginning is something that is very passionate. Tell me about this page of pentacles. What is this page of pentacles spirit? The sun. The sun. Someone's going to bring you some kind of news that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. It's going to make you smile. It's going to bring a lot of joy to your day. You know? I feel like this person just wants to make you happy. They like to see your smile when you when you're happy. Um, tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. What is this Seven of Pentacles? 
the four of wands yeah exactly this person wants to bring you happiness they want to be your happily ever after they're working towards that end goal they're hard working they're trying to get your attention they want you to give them a chance you know they want to show you what they're made of tell me about this nine of pentacles spirit what is this nine of pentacles The Two of Pentacles. Definitely. This person is asking you to make a choice, Aquarius. They're asking you to make a choice. Do you want to stay single? Do you want to maintain your independence? Main your, ma maintain your solo pleasures, so to say? Or do you want to take a chance and move in their direction? Make a choice. You know, this person is asking you, you know, will you choose me? Just give me a chance. Tell me about this Two of Cups. What is this Two of Cups? Yeah, the Chariot. This person may live in another city or they may have to travel in order to see you. But I feel like this person really wants your attention. They really want you to pay attention to how they make you feel. Um, this person may ask you right away to move in with them. Or they may ask you to really maybe to travel, take a trip with them. Really interesting. Tell me more about this Five of Cups. What is this Five of Cups energy? The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like with the Five of Cups, your doubts and your reservations are unfounded. I feel like if you were to give this person a chance, you'd be very happily surprised. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this person really wants to lavish you with gifts and with happiness you know they they're looking to satisfy you and that may be satisfying you in every way possible but I feel like this person is really going the extra mile for you to see them for you to notice their actions this may be someone who has been admiring you for a very long time they may have now gotten up the nerve to um, send you some kind of communication but I feel like this person wants to make you very happy with the uh, king of swords we have the justice card so definitely it's someone who's put in a lot of work to try to get your attention um, This is someone who would likely, you know, kind of tip the scales in order to surprise you. Um, but they, they want to bring you balance. They want to bring you... Knowledge. They want to open up your mind to new thoughts. You know? With the Six of Swords, we have the Three of Pentacles. So definitely I feel like you're moving into sort of a, um, a new dimension where it's not just you moving through this world, but it's you collaborating with someone else. I feel like you and this person are moving into the same direction. You and this person will be traveling. You'll be seeing sights. You'll be um, exploring new Places. But I feel like you and this person kind of, you kind of intertwine. They're like willing to team up to collaborate with you, you know, to, to help you through the process. 
I really feel like this person wants to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of satisfaction. Yeah, we have the Seven of Wands at the bottom. This person may be very thoughtful. They may also be very athletic, very competitive. But I feel like this person is, is also very playful, very uh, vibrant. They may do something that is like totally out of character for you. But it's like they want you to experience this new thing. Hmm. And we have the tower in reverse. So I feel like Aquarius and the Page of Pentacles. I feel like there's something about this that you just don't want to change. There's something about this that you don't want to let go of. Um, it may be some sort of communication or something like that, that you're like, I'm not, it's almost like you're, you're really not feeling this person, but this person is so into you. Hmm. Tell me more about this person, spirit. Tell me more about this person who's trying to communicate with Aquarius. Tell me about this person. We have an axe, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. So you may have given this person the silent treatment. You may have kind of blocked this person. If this is a person from your past trying to come back in, this is someone who broke your heart, so you're not ready to let them back in. You're willing to be separated. Um, you felt abandoned by this person for some reason. Hmm. For others of you, Spirit, let me know about this new person. Let me know about this new person coming in. Girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So, you know what? With this other person, I feel like you're busy taking care of yourself. You're busy, you know, being single, hanging out with your friends, doing the things that you want. That's the reason why I feel like you're hesitant to kind of jump into another relationship because you don't want your heart broken. You're too busy having fun with life, having fun in your own circle. So you're not ready to let this new person in yet because you're feeling like it's going to put some kind of monkey wrench into being with your friends or, or whatever this healing is that you're going through. Give me another message about this connection, spirit, sunglasses. This person is still watching you. They're still looking at you. They're, they're hoping to be noticed. They want you to see them. You know, I feel like this person may be looking at your social media if you have a social media. Um, or if this person works at your place of business, I feel like this person is watching you. They have their eyes on you. They're kind of seeing what you're doing to try to get close to you. I feel like this person is really, really into you, Aquarius. They really want you to make a choice to give them a chance. Give me a message for Aquarius, Spirit. Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. Yeah, I feel like this is with this ex. Um, this ex is like, 
you know, after we separated now, I can see things from your perspective as well as mine. And they, they want you to give them another chance. Oh, what is this new person? Spirit, give me a message for this new person. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So I feel like this person may have been standing in the background. They may have been just watching you from a distance because self-esteem issues may be on their part or your part. Um, but I feel like that was kind of the, the reason why they weren't able to give you a message sooner to try to communicate how they feel because I feel like this person this new person is coming into your life they they really feel very deeply for you you make them very happy you know with this Sun card and the ten of Pentacles you make them very happy um, they feel like you're their reward for you know all the effort that they put into this you know and I feel like you're in denial Aquarius I acknowledge my fear but I replace it with the inside of awareness so maybe you should step back take a look take a deep look at the situation in order to gain knowledge and wisdom um, in order to make the right decision for you um, let's see Spirit, give me a message for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know about this situation? We have Soul Flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. And we have facing fear major spiritual changes are unfolding this is your chance to soar definitely so we have a card for the past person we have a card for the new person um, so definitely um, you know I can't say that which direction you should go in Aquarius but you know whatever this resonates however this makes you feel is the way it's supposed to go we have heart awakening awaken to acceptance and divine love give and receive in balance very interesting Aquarius let's see let's get one more message and then we'll go into a question spirit what does Aquarius need to know for this interaction what does Aquarius need to know for this we have the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. So yeah, I feel like, you know, you're going to decide on what is best for you and you're going to go with that decision. Um, we also have Star Brothers, Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, and Trust. So and just know Aquarius, you have protection in this situation and you know trust your intuition trust what your gut is telling you about um this situation it's not going to steer you wrong you know okay so aquarius take a moment and think of a question you can go ahead and pause the video if you need to but go ahead and ask your question What does Aquarius need to know, Spirit? Give me an answer for Aquarius. Not the right time. One more card. And there's something better. Okay, Aquarius. At the bottom of the deck, you have let go. So... Aquarius, I feel like you are, you most likely see where this is going with this past person. There's something better out there. It may be this new person that's coming in that may be your something better. Um, but yeah, this is what I have for you, Aquarius. 
If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more stability, um, more clarifying for your situation. And until the next reading, Aquarius, many blessings to you. Love and light.